hi guys welcome to yet another episode of shaz and tell if you're a new subscriber karibu karibu sana and hit that subscribe button hit it that one it takes a second and it really supports my channel so i hope your week has been good mine has been fine i am currently on my way to the salon i need to to now wash hi rangi today wash a motor today wash a motor i think if you watched uh, my video when i was going to retouch my hair i cheated on christine now today i'm going back to christine because she always does my color so there's that i cannot wait for her to do that i'll show you guys the result and the reason also as to why i picked the camera today is because i'll be going for a dress fitting we have an event tomorrow my folks have an event tomorrow so that will be exciting i'll take snippets and you know those traditional events villas you don't go i can't wait we are so excited so there's that i wanted to take you along do my hair uh go for my dress fitting it's about 2 15 so i'm sure the sun the salon sorry i'm sure the salon will probably take me three hours and then rush to my dress fitting so let's do that uh terry does my outfits of late i will show you the outcome i'm sure i'm sure i like it so far so i know i know and that's another plug that is another plug so let's go do this hair at christine's today i'll be going to her main place that's kiambu road but if Kiambu Road is too far for you, you cannot to go to Tao. She can always come to Tao and also do your hair. So let's do this. I got to Christine's on time. We started the process of changing my hair color, which is what you're seeing here. I was waiting for the color to shika. Then we treated my hair and styled it basically. Guys, anytime Mimi, I go to a salon and you don't offer me something to eat, me, I'm about to never come back. So as you can see, a girl is, is happy. And there we go. My hair is back to being a blonde. And what do they say about blondies? <laughs> I, I really love this hair. I was in love. Christine has done my color since I was 18, I think. And imagine I'm 30 now, so you can know how good she is. And my hair does not katika. So we're just styling my hair over here. And guys, guys, when I tell you this hair looks like a weave on my head, oh god. I love it. I love it. I feel like a changed girl. A changed girl. <laughs> so after Christine's, I had told you I'm rushing to get my fitting done. I was happy with what Terry had done with my dress. A uh, few adjustments, but we were good to go. We didn't even spend more than 15 minutes. Kamakawaita. I was with my wingman, and yeah, we went home after this. <laughs> It can never be a complete vlog without some yummy yummy food up in here so today we'll be making some yummy pilau okay the man's will be making so he went in with some goat meat crushed garlic and ginger which i did by the way i crushed that some onion powder some pilau masala soy sauce tomato paste paprika powder some salt to taste some tomatoes, these are for pili pili akukanga, some onions, green chilies for the pili pili akukanga as well. We'll be splitting the onions into two and definitely some cooking oil. For pilau, you tend to use more oil that, than you'd ordinarily use. So you put on your heat and ensure your hot your oil gets hot. Then put your mixture of garlic and ginger 
let it cook a bit then add your onions which is what you're seeing here after that you went in with the meat the meat really tastes yummy when you put you mix it with the garlic and ginger at this point and also you put the meat at this stage so that it won't be time to cook longer so he went in with some onion powder definitely for for flavor went in with some tomato paste he likes using tomato paste and i think he's told me before tomato paste also acts as a meat tenderizer so after doing that he'll mix it up and this is how the meat looks and i can already tell you guys my kitchen is smelling really yummy so he went in with some pilau masala he told me he'll be using it at this base so that it tastes kwanyama you can feel that in nyama pilau and he'll also use it later on I uh, went in with the rice. If you know how to cook rice, you know the ratio of rice is one cup of rice goes with two cups of water. So we did two and a half cups of rice, so definitely five cups of water at this point. Then if you've been with us for a minute, you know that as we are cooking, Ace, Ace has to make an appearance. He must come and entertain us. So this is what we're seeing here. He was just singing and having fun. So we went in with our pilau masala again. Now, the purpose of this is to make the rice flavorful. Then came in the soy sauce for color and, of course, taste. Then some paprika for taste and flavor. Then he mixed it up. Remembered that we had not added salt at this point. So we put it at this area. Then you simply cover this up and guys give it a few minutes water dries under medium heat and guys look at that perfection look at it when i tell you this food was slapping i prefer to serve mine with pili pili kukanga and some guac okay and this food was slapping so please try it and enjoy guys <laughs> The D-Day is here, our folks Ngurario ceremony, which is a traditional wedding. And you can already tell the excitement. Also, can you see my blonde hair? Can you see how it's giving? It's giving, um, I can cut you some checks, some checks, eh? eh? Check it in, check it in. Anyway, uh, at this point, you are rushing to go to the event where one, we'd be getting our makeup done over there then i needed to check if the decor was in place before the guests arrived and ensure that the day just goes perfectly you can see kevo already doing his thing the decor was looking good the colors were right the event planner got my got the memo they got the memo and kama kawaida you can see me confirming that things are good taking photos for you guys because we are committed we are committed to having good content and at the same time have a good event so this day was really nice it was full of dancing and enjoying and guys were just it was guys just enjoy the photos like we enjoyed while we were watching all these things happen yeah my mom and dad looked so cute. Just look at them, guys. This was such an aww moment. <laughs> they looked so happy. It was a happy, happy day for us. So yeah, that, that was our day. And my girls came to represent i mean you guys mimi i just love i love my my friends and at this point i realized i hadn't shown you guys what maggie had done on my face and it was popping it was popping then the event was over it was really beautiful at night with the fairy lights and of course it's not a bash until you go out dance have fun and we decided to end our night with some yummy shawarma this thing was slapping so hard uh let's go home it's been a long day catch you guys tomorrow good night hi guys it's me and my blonde 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 hair done by christine by the way which you should actually hit her up she does a good job and by the way this lighting is not doing this hair justice this one 
if you see it in person if you the compliments i got yesterday ah i'm so happy i am so happy so i thought i'd pick this camera here and probably end the video here because i a girl is tired i have had the longest week at work in my life guys adulting adulting is not so easy guys but the good thing about my week is it ended on a high like yesterday was the highlight of my week my folks were so happy everyone who came it was such a happy event i know i showed uh, some snippets of it i thought i initially plan was to really capture more but i found myself unajua if something is happening in your family you're the one being sent to do this you're doing this you're doing this and then you also do, you also want to enjoy the moments and be there so i think i got carried away and was just laughing and dancing and having a good time i even forgot to shoot so much content but i'm sure you saw snippets of it it was um it was angurario event that is what we call it it's like a traditional wedding but it's like guys just know it's a traditional wedding okay and it was really fun all right uh so i think you saw kevo taking photos so i am already sure those photos are going to be fire and i plugged you by the last time so if you didn't follow kevo do your plug do your just hit him up he does i told you guys he does most of our family photos our friends photos and it was a really good event um who else um maggie hope did our makeup and fun fact maggie hope did my wedding makeup and shiko who did my decor did my wedding decor so i like them because wame Tumezoyana, like that, you get. They know what I like. And the thing with one, Maggie Hope, is when she's doing like a number of you, uh, makeup on a number of you guys, I'm tafanana. Unajovin yonafanyango makeup, alafu tunaka twins, like all of us, tumefanyona mtumoja. No, it's it's really quite unique. Uh, who else? Shiko. Shiko, I'm not sure Shiko is on Instagram, but in case you want her contacts you could probably dm me her prices are really good with the whole decor thing and she does big crowds and for her prices are good so don't be scared so if you have a ratio a wedding you could probably hit her up she's really efficient and really sweet and again she's she like me she's my name c so i think see well um what else what else i think that's it Oh, no, 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 no. Our dresses were done by Terry. Terry did an amazing job. I think this is the fourth outfit she's making for me. And no complaints over here. She did for my sisters. But my mom's dress was done by Ellen Designs. She's, al she's also on IG. She did a good job. Uh, Terry is good. And she's efficient. I think my dress was made in two days. See at Itena Mwendangi Apo in two days. Just plan earlier. But... If you if you have like an emergency and you want a good dress, Terry is your person. I link her. I, I will link her page here. I think it's Seasons Ke on IG. You could probably try her out. She's really good. Uh, before I end of this video, I got something. There's something I had gotten like a month ago, but I picked it Jana through my friend. My my friend picked it for me, so I got it, and I saw it in the morning. I thought, why not? show you guys i won't like me i already opened it but little chocolate box into to unbox my knees so dang intimates lingerie and scents they are on ig that's their ig handle intimates kenya um this is a really cute onesie for me It's so no neo color. It's blush. It's so soft, like you can see. It's like a baby's romper, and it has those bunny ears. And it's actually a short in my size, guys. I am about to enjoy the hell out of this thing. Nita Jibamba. Hmm. I love it. I love it. It's so soft. I'm sure Atta when I'm cuddling with Ace. Oh, he'll be like, Mama, you're the cutest, you're the softest. And even cuddling with the mans, he will feel like, Oh, babe, this is so nice. 
So I can't wait to ah uh, this one I will enjoy this one this one. Ita Ivan Ita Ivan paka watu wa dream yangu siniamba siniumili ni mo. Anyway guys, aki enough of that. Mimi ni me beat, but I need to end this video here. I can hear guys talking. Guys, Aki, let me end this video here. I have had a long, long week, like I told you guys. But, you know, you guys are my people. I had to give you something short and sweet. And if you've stayed with me till here, thank you, thank you, thank you for rocking with me, Kamakawaida. I hope you guys have a lovely week. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe that. Please hit that subscribe button here. It just takes a second. It supports my channel. It helps us grow. I think we are almost at 500 subscribers. Imagine. Imagine, guys. Like, you guys are the best, okay? Please share on your IG. Share on your, on your WhatsApp. Thank you for the, for the guys who've been hitting me up on IG and we've been having really good conversations. Guys, by the way, if you don't follow me on IG, I am I'm quite active there. And those photos that Kevo will be taking i'm sure i won't post them in the next vlog because this vlog was mainly for the whole event and everything so i'm sure i will be posting them on ig because mimi mimi nikisha wana picha mzuri hivi i i must post they must see so if you've not followed me on ig at shalonen please follow me i will be posting there as well um and yeah i think that's pretty much it I could end this video here and wish you guys a lovely week, a lovely evening because I'm about to post this and honestly, Johnny Shafika. So let me edit this part real quick and upload this video and wish you guys a lovely day and a lovely week. And thank you for rocking with me. Bye guys. Mwah.